Hi everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about video modeling. What is video modeling? It is a form of observational learning that involves watching the video, then later on imitating the video observed. There are four types of video modeling. First, basic video modeling. This is when the individual individual is someone other than the learner. Give me red. Give me red. Good job giving red. High five. I use my session with Mortessa to model adult learners like Hamid with the same target behavior. This video involves three trials with distractors to monitor the correct response and if prompt is needed. Second, video self-modeling. This is when the video is of the learner engaging in target behavior. In this video, the learner will watch himself doing the target behavior. For example, Hamad will watch this video to perform folding towel. Third is point of view video modeling. This is when the target behavior is recorded from the perspective of the learner or watching an individual engaging in the behavior. Time to make your bed, get the blanket, put the blanket on, and get the pillows. I use our session with Khalifa to show other learners the procedures, doing the bed making. Good job making your bed! Last one is video planning. After each step in the video model, the video is posed, giving opportunity to a learner to try the next step in the sequence. Then data will be collected once the learner proceeds to the next step. In this video, you can see three steps. Lay the towel on the table, first fold and second fold show the full video to the learner then show again pause after the first step and check if the student can do the next step data will be collected if the student proceeds to the next step there are four steps in creating video modeling first select the skill this is the target behavior and needs to improve it could be communication academic self-help or play in leisure next Develop a detailed test analysis with the script before taking the video. Third, record the video using your mobile phone or handycam. Fourth, send the video to the learner, monitor the progress, and fade the video. Thanks for watching, teachers, and good luck.